Frank, how are you? I'm good. I'm hanging in there. <laughs> You've you been okay the last few weeks? Are you just I had an operation on my back, but I'm uh, I'm getting there. Yeah, all, all much better, thank you. Yeah, you seem you 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 seem okay now. Um, but yeah, it's not not ideal, is it? It's not, especially when you get to my age. <laughs> But we'll go back to the boxing. Daniel, who we've just spoken to, uh, going out again in December. Uh, that, is it the opponent you would wished for him to have been against? Yeah, well, look, look the guy's got a ranking, and that's what he's about, about getting into the rankings. We, he's done well. He's in all the uh, governing bodies except for the WBA um, up to now. This guy's ranked number 12. He's, uh, the WBC have made it for the, the, um, sil their silver belt, which uh, Dillian White held up until a couple of fights ago. Um, and that got him into a number one spot. Uh, he's also for the. Uh, he's also defending his WBO title because uh, Fujimoto is the Asian heavyweight champion. So it ticks all the boxes as far as that's concerned. And uh, it's, uh, you know, hopefully comes for it. And the end of the year, he's he's ranked them by all the organisations, and he's got some belts that mean he'll get he'll get uh, higher rankings in the governing bodies. Yeah, because I know there was a few names mentioned. I know Dave Allen you tried to make, and people always mention Chisora as well. Well, you know, Chisora was offered the fight. Dave Allen was offered the fight, and uh, they just didn't happen. So, you know, we're not in wait, sitting around waiting for them to happen. Uh, you know, my my job is to keep Daniel busy, and that's what we're doing. And uh, I want to finish the the year for him, or he wants to finish the year on a high, as I said, getting him, making sure we got these rankings, so that we're setting him up for next year to get into a position uh, where he hopefully will become manager challenger when all these guys, when all the dust settles, when these guys all fight each other with the commitments that they've got. But he's got to get through, obviously, through Jumano first. Yeah, there's a few on few, uh, social media saying about this guy saying that, you know, Daniel will take him out in one, tomorrow I can, all this usual stuff. Listen, if he hits him on the chin, he'll take him out in one. He can do that of anyone. He's done it with some of the best heavyweights in the country sparring. You know, so <laughs> he can do that. It's, that's the power he's got. But, you know, uh, it's what happens when you don't hit him on the chin. And that's what it's all about. So um, I have no doubt whoever he catches... If he catches them right, they'll go. There's no doubt about that, whether it's in the, whatever round it's in. But the most important thing is, is for him to win the fight. I don't care how he wins it, win the fight, and more importantly, uh, get that ranking. Now, I asked Daniel about the sparring partners, and, you know, uh, he had a bit of a laugh in the press conference, which suggested he did get on rather well against them. Um, I asked him who the toughest one was. Did you, have you, have you uh, got any ideas on that one? Well, there's that old thing, you know, what happens in sparring stays yeah. in sparring, so that's what it is. But all I can tell you is that... Uh, and he says it himself, and, and I know it for a fact, he more, not held his own, more than held his own. Interesting, interesting. interesting. Yeah. That's why we signed him. <laughs> and talking to heavyweights, Tyson Fury. Now, he seems to be involved in everything at the moment. He is. I mean, I don't know, you know, he's, he, I'll, I'll tell you what, if anything ever happens to him, there'll be about 10 jobs available at the, <laughs> at the uh, Labour Exchange or whatever, like, job centre. <laughs> now, he's, done extreme, he's doing extremely well for himself. You know, he's, done, he's, he's enjoyed himself with the uh, wrestling. You know, he's an entertainer and he needs to keep himself occupied and that's what he's, what he's doing at the moment. He's got a book coming out soon. <laughs> and, a, and a Christmas single I've heard as well, possibly. A Christmas single with um, uh, Robbie, Williams. Robbie Williams, yeah. Yeah, so that'd be good fun. But yeah, but that's, he's a character, isn't he? He's an entertainer. That's what he does. That's what he enjoys doing. And uh, you know, good luck to him. That's, that's, that's where he's at. When you think where he was sort of 18 months ago to where he is now, it's, uh, it's brilliant for him. But was your heart in your mouth a little bit when you see him throwing around a wrestling ring and learning how to do UFC training? I didn't want him to do it. I didn't want him to take that risk with his eye. But, you know, he's his own man and he did what he had to do and uh, thankfully he's come through it. So now it's up to Deontay Wilder to come through and fulfil his end of the bargain. I was going to say, I think, you know, for all the stuff he's doing, Tyson's not taking his eye off the prize. February the 22nd is still very much in his mind. If anybody thinks that, they're stupid. He knows, he knows what he wants. And as far as, like you said, I mean... All things considered, hopefully February the 22nd, that's still a goer? Yeah, it, but, you know, it's all about Deontay now. You know, the emphasis is on him and how he comes through his fight with Ortiz. But what about Tyson the eye? I mean, do we know if, if, if he would be OK to fight on that date? Yeah, time, time, uh, make, look, time makes sure it'll be OK, provided nothing happens in sparring and so forth. He's not done any sparring yet, and he won't be doing that for, uh, for at least another three, four weeks. So, you know, it, it, it'll be OK, it'll be OK. And if and when it does happen, how do you see the fight going? I think he, I think he has stopped Deontay. Really? I mean, yeah, I think he was. I think he, you know, you remember when he fought Deontay Wilder? He came off of two fights, two warm-up fights, two guys, you know, weren't so challenging, and he went in there having lost ten stone. He's now got himself into fighting fit mode. He's lived very healthily for the last 
um, what certainly in the last year he's not piled all the pounds on so he'll be a different guy he'll be a different guy altogether he's not training to not training to make weight he's training for a fight that'd be the difference and uh, you were sat next to his little brother Tommy earlier yeah. today uh, nice to talk about boxing rather than Love Island for once <laughs> well I don't talk about Love Island <laughs> but um, yeah he's, he's a nice lad and uh, he's, he's, he's determined that he wants to emulate what Tyson's done and, uh, and he's you know he's, he's got the, the desire and the, the will to do it so we're going to make give him the platform and let's see what happens um, he did mention KSI. Uh, I'm not sure how you felt about that fight. Well, I watched it the weekend. Um, what do I feel about it? It is what it is, isn't it? I mean, it's two guys who, you know, wouldn't win a, a, an ABA title. They wouldn't wear an area title. I mean, they're just two kids. It's just like you wanting to fight the interviewer from Sky so you can <laughs> fight the best out of you two. That's all it is, isn't it? It's no different now. Or me wanting to fight another promoter. I mean, it's not... It's not, they're not what I would. They're not boxers, are they? They're, they're, God bless them. They made a lot of money, and good luck to them. And I'll get that, understand that. But do not confuse that with what we, our business, what we do. That's it's a totally different. Thing. And you know what Daniel said about them is quite true. They put all their heart and soul. They train hard, but it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. I used to do what they, they used to call it unlicensed boxing when I first started, and I got quite embarrassed by it at the end. Having watched that, it didn't compare to what I put on. Uh, but Tommy did say he'd be willing to fight KSI. Well, yeah, we'd do it in a heartbeat. <laughs> I think there'd be two hits, him hitting him, KSI hitting the floor. Well, yeah, yeah you hear two thuds. <laughs> but at least there'll be, he'll, Tommy will be bringing some new fans into boxing. I suppose the Love Island thing, it's well, not a bad thing that his no, name is known now. He's, he's a crossover, isn't he? He's gone from being a, a guy who's had two, two pro fights to being a guy who's... who's very recognisable for his stint on Love Island, and that's good for him. And it brings, as you say, hopefully, it'll bring a new audience to the sport. That's what what it's all about. But um, it also puts a lot of pressure on him. He's got to deliver in the ring now. You know, he's got to look the business and do the business in the ring. Okay, um, a few last questions. Uh, before December 21st, we've got a card in Birmingham, yeah. and also the return of Carl Frampton. Yep, Carl's fighting in uh, November in the States, so hopefully he'll come through that and he'll be up there challenging for a title. <coughs> and as uh, you say, we've got a good show in Birmingham, some really good fights up there, got madness in the Midlands, so it should be interesting. <laughs> um, and Carl, when I spoke to him last time, I mean, he's insistent that he'll get through this fight, hopefully wins, and then he wants a world title shot. Well, I'm quite sure he'll get one, no doubt about that. And I'm quite sure he'll get it. Any names in the frame? Because a few of the boys have moved up, haven't they? And this one... Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's all sort of open at the moment. But he, I think he needs to just focus on what he's doing at the end of the month, first of all. OK. And any more news you can tell us about Anthony Yard, for instance? How's, how's he getting I on? I met with him on Tundi last week, and uh, he's going to be out early next year, very early next year. We're going to get him out. He's got the bit between his teeth. He came back from a trip, and he went straight to the gym. So he's up and he's up and rearing and ready to go. Well, that's good. I mean, obviously, he's not going to go straight into another world title fight, but now, presumably, he's had the taste for that. He's had the taste, and he wants to, he's going to fight, yeah, fight somebody who's ranked, and he's, he's fight back. That's what we're doing, make sure it happens. OK, Frank, well, looking forward to all this. Busy so few months. I, I'm looking forward to it. Been quiet for a couple of weeks, so we, we are looking forward to it, yeah. All right, mate, lovely to talk Cheers to you, as always. <laughs>